cracking down on classroom cell phone use. California Governor Gavin Newsom telling California school districts to enforce tougher policies on mobile devices. The governor's words backed up by his state superintendent shortly after. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein takes a look at if those words from the governor will actually impact Kern County classrooms. Will. Well, Michael, it's truly tough to know because all Newsom says is that it would be great for local districts to have a policy, but it does not actually say you must enforce the policy. In some districts, it may leave more questions than answers. Phones, earbuds, things like that can be very distracting. California Governor Gavin Newsom agrees and on Tuesday morning released a statement urging school districts to crack down on cell phone use in the classroom. In his statement, Newsom refers to legislation he signed five years ago that allows districts to police student phone usage in their district's classroom. The governor is suggesting districts should regulate usage following successful trials in Fresno and Santa Barbara school districts. The governor claiming, quote, the districts that have been cracking down are reporting higher test scores grades and student engagement and less bullying and damage to school facilities. But Kern Literacy Council's Ian Anderson says local school districts have enough issues to tackle, making the time to punish cell phone usage hard to find. The, the challenge, right, of, of a policy is it being implemented. And schools have a lot. It's not like it's this is the only policy in the school year that's new that they have to implement. That's not to say there's not a success story in Kern County. Wasco Union High School District implemented a box collection policy last year and has brought it back for this year. It allows them to collect cell phones, uh, secure them in the box, and those stay with the teacher uh, until the end of the class period. Wasco Union Superintendent Kevin Talon believes student performance in the classroom has improved since instituting the phone box. When you limit distractions and you ask students to focus on the lesson, and uh, the, the and focus on their, their learning for the day that they do better. Talon suggesting cutting back on the devices helps students pay attention to their teachers and digest the content of their daily lessons. We have to make it also work for them, but we strongly encourage them to to make sure that the cell phones are collected and, and really just focus on the content and the lesson that's being delivered that day. And one of the biggest concerns with the policy is whether or not students can access their phones in the case of an emergency. To ease worries, Talon says students do receive their devices back. Reporting in studio, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.